Hi guys, this is Clark or Clark Factor, and this is my submission to Paddock's Mode of a Beast. Um, I am not hard about whether to choose this game because Paddock did say about choosing your best uh, Moab, but I've done something a little bit different, which I'll explain later on in the video. First, as many of you know, Paddock is Scottish, and well, you should know, and if you haven't noticed by now, I am from England, London, England to be precise. Now, for the last few weeks and for the next few weeks uh, me and Paddock we're both British <laughs> because obviously the Olympics are on and we are doing amazingly well like I can't get my head around how well we're actually doing we are third in the gold medal table and it's our best performance since 1908 which when pretty much none of these countries could afford to even come to London to, <laughs> to do the Olympics so it's um, a pretty special achievement and obviously having home uh, soil advantage and having the fans behind you brings out the best in everyone but I've, I have i didn't think I'd get this much behind the Olympics I thought that I would sort of watch a little bit of it here and there but I'm glued to my telly I, I've hardly been playing on the PlayStation any free time that I have is in front of the TV watching the Olympics um, I, I'm ended up watching sports that I didn't even know existed and enjoying them. Like there was one today, it was just a horse dancing to music. Like, <laughs> how is that worthy of a gold medal? But we even got gold in that. Dancing horses, we got gold. And um, um, it's almost like we've adopted Usain Bolt as well. Um, me and all my friends went was at the pub and we all froze when Usain Bolt ran his 100 meter final, and we was all cheering him on like he was British, which was quite funny. But um, enough of talking about the Olympics. This is uh, my like Moab. I'll just give you a little bit of information behind it because you're probably looking at this right now, thinking this is just an MP7 Moab on bootleg. This, there's nothing special about this. And um, this isn't like my best Moab to date by far. I could have chosen 50 or 60 Moabs that are better than this, but this is my most satisfying Moab. So I thought I'd switch it up. If you haven't noticed by now. The people that I'm killing have the same clan tag. They're all in like um, a clan, I guess, and their clan tag was Jihad. Now, if <laughs> you can guess where this is going, they were just absolute morons. Um, they were like little kids, mouthing off down the mics, thinking they were funny. Like, who has the clan tag Jihad, honestly? Um, so yes, they were annoying. They were talking nonsense. They were saying how much they were going to beat us. So I thought I'd teach him a lesson, I put the old tryhard class on, the MP7, silence and extended mags, and I went to town. Uh, normally I hold on to my Moabs until the very end of the game, as to not disrupt other people's streaks, and obviously if you call in a Moab, I don't know why people do it, but people tend to leave, even though it's like an extra, it's just one death. If you're going 17 for 40 and giving away Moabs, what's one more death, honestly? But I don't know why people do that. I think it's just like the... The humiliation of being mobbed, I guess, but you shouldn't be shit in the first place. But anyway, um, I normally hold on to them to the very end because obviously people leave. But this, no, 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 no. I was calling this in straight away. I wanted to humiliate these people, so um, I call it in straight away. One guy leaves there. I die to final stand, and the rest of them leave there, which was pretty funny, and I was laughing at this point. Anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed what you have seen please come check out my channel and subscribe thanks again to Puddock for uploading and peace out